Storm season is one of, of course, uh, for insurance companies, one of the biggest costs and risks that they do undertake. This year will be truly dreadful for the insurance industry. Lloyds of London says it is going to be on a par with 9-11, the pandemic costs, that is, will be on a par with 9-11. Uh, the chief executive of Lloyds of London with me, John Neal, he joins me via Skype. What do you believe Lloyd, this is going to cost? Uh, Lloyds of London itself. Just take the pandemic costs, uh, I presume, from um, property and casualty, uh, p and and all of those. What will it be? It serves customers literally all over the world. And the effects of the pandemic are devastating for loss of life and so far-reaching with their economic impact. So we've estimated that just for Lloyds, the cost could be around about 4.3 billion US dollars. And that's for claims up to the 30th of June. So if any form of lockdown continues beyond that period, then the cost of the claims will be higher. How much are you budgeting, if at all, for liability claims from employers slash employees, people who go back to work, they catch the virus, do you, I know the US is looking at litigate, uh, laws to give indemnity. Is this something Lloyds of London's worried about? So I think, or we think, the claims will be right across a range of different insurances. So as of today, the biggest single class effective that we insure is, is cancellation of events. So that could be the Olympics or the US Open, right the way down to local events. So that's about 30% of that bill. And about 30% of the bill is business interruption or property claims where people do have protection against government preventing access to premises or some form of disease or pandemic. Mm -hmm. And then the balance is about 16 different classes of insurance, which to your point are insurance lines that are affected by economics, could be professional indemnity, directors and offices, or employers liability, or even dare I say it, liabilities arising from the clinical trials that are now taking place to find a vaccine. This is something that you're obviously involved in. I mean, is it is it expensive for the drug companies to get insurance so that they can do these clinical trials? So I don't think it's outrageously expensive in the concept of the investment that they make into research and development, but we're aware of 73 trials that are going on at present to you know get to a vaccine as quickly as possible and you know we're involved in the insurance of about a third of those so you know it's something we're well used to doing and we do understand the structure of clinical trials and how to provide cover so there's nothing unusual in its structure in itself and we're quite happy to be providing the insurance if the loss is let's say till the end of june are in the region of four billion that sounds a lot but my understanding of lloyd's is that that's well within your buffers and, and abilities? But it, it is on an annual basis, but as you were reporting as I just came on air, um, there's always a hurricane or a cyclone or a typhoon occurring somewhere. And as your um, viewers know, they're all roughly the same type of event, just with winds going in different directions. So I was reading only the other day that apparently the North Atlantic hurricane season is going to be particularly active. So a lot depends on what happens in the second half of the year. So, you know, we have to assume that as we serve our customers, that we've set aside the money, not only to deal with claims arising from, you know, COVID-19, but that we've also got the funds set aside for any other form of loss that's occurring throughout the year. So we're spending roughly $650 million a week settling normal claims. I say normal in inverted commas. So the year's got a way to go yeah. yet. Um, well, then, a, a blunt question. Are mm. you comfortable that you have the money? Let's say COVID goes on, you've got a slow reopening through June, July, August, September, maybe till the end of the year. There's a bad hurricane in season in the North Atlantic. The Olympics don't take place next year. Um, are you mm. comfortable you can pay all these bills? Well... You know, it's a really good question. There are two parts to it. We've, we've estimated that the total claims bill for COVID-19 
will be about a hundred billion dollars for the the insurance industry worldwide and let's remind ourselves in addition if you look at their asset values where they set investments aside to meet future claims they've probably fallen by a hundred billion dollars which is why we're saying this is probably the largest loss that the industry has ever seen however you know we have to maintain a, a solvency margin and if that margin of a hundred percent says you're solvent most of us are in excess of 200 percent so the good news is is the regulators and rating agencies around the world require us to hold an awful lot of capital so yes is the short answer we do have the money to meet these obligations and whatever else we'll encounter this year but some will be challenged there's no doubt about that some will be challenged john it is always good to talk to you i'm grateful for your time tonight sir i uh, appreciate it thank you